All right, guys, Marvel Comics didn't catch me with that Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 3, so I was able to snag another early omnibus, Spider-Man by Chip Zdarsky, which honestly I thought was really just going to be another format collecting life story, but it's actually got so much more than that. Before we jump into it, if you want to pre-order this book or pick up any omnibus in general, you got to check out OrganicPriceBooks.com. Not only does using code GEMMINT save you $2 every time, but they're having a huge Invincible sale that ends today. You could save 48% off any Invincible title using that same code, so go ahead and check them out. With that out the way, let's jump into this Omni. All right, guys, so the regular cover here is done by Adam Hubert. There is a direct market variant, which is done by Chip Zdarsky himself. I think he also did art on Sex Criminal, so a dual threat with Chip Zdarsky. Taking a look at the spine here, you got that nice teal look to it. Uh, it's by Chip Zdarsky, but here are the other creators. Taking a look at the back, this is not just a Spider-Man Life Story omnibus. It also collects stories that Chip did before this on the spectacular Spider-Man run from 2017, collecting issues 1 through 6, plus the renumbered Legacy 297 through 310 and annual number one. It does collect Life Story 1 through 6, plus the annual, and then the follow-up miniseries, Spider-Man Spider's Shadow, for that five-issue miniseries. Also, it does throw in some material from Free Comic Book Day 2017. It's got a $125 cover price with 936 pages. Chip Zdarsky spins three very different Spidey sagas. So I don't know that I caught his run on Spectacular Spider-Man. Maybe I did as we'll flip through it and I'll take a look. But similar to the original Spectacular Spider-Man, focusing more on Peter Parker, his relationship with Johnny Storm, Spider-Man Life Story takes a six-issue miniseries and ages Spider-Man along with the eras and then kind of gives him an ending, which we never really got. And then the Spider-Shadow is like a dark what-if. What if Peter Parker kept the symbiote and turned evil? So here are the creators, Chip Zdarsky, Chris Bacialo, Mark Bagley, Pascal Ferry, Juan Figuiri, Adam Kubert, and Joe Quinones. Really digging the art on the hardcover. It really pops. I feel like this is from Life Story, going through all the eras of Spider-Man, the different iterations, his villains. All right, let's open this bad boy up. You have that Life Story blue. Here goes the cover page. Here are all the credits. And wow, jumping right into it. So this must be the spectacular Spider-Man run. Yeah, here we go with issue number one. Digging the kind of Superman-inspired cover that um, Adam Kuber did. All right, so what do we got here? We got Falcon, Spidey. Yeah, I don't think I read this spectacular Spider-Man series. I should because I am a huge fan of Chip Zdarsky. I think he's one of the great writers of this era. And he's teaming up with some of the great artists here too, man. Teaming up with Mark Bagley for Life Story, which I did read in single issues, I think it was. Then trades. Then they had a hardcover. So they published that Life Story in a lot of different formats. Nice to see it included in this omnibus. I think Chip definitely deserves it. Here we have Spectacular Spider-Man 299. It's going to end off that saga with the annual. So we get this little prologue to the Spider-Man life story. Here goes issue one. So like I said, it was going through the different eras of Spider-Man. So this was the 60s, and it all felt very familiar. It really reminded me of Ultimate Spider-Man 2, like kind of like a modern take on the character. Issue two was the 70s. And I really did enjoy it, but once it got to the current era, and as you can see, we're, we're aging up with, with the times here, unlike in the comics, but they make their own ending here, or Chip does, I should say, creates his own ending of Spider-Man, what would basically happen uh, to Spider-Man in the 2010s, I believe it was. Here's the 90s era. And look, you can see how Peter's already aging up, so he's already got to be, what, 30 or 40 years old? 2006, you have the Moreland stuff. And I believe that's where it starts to get a little bit wonky. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is the last issue with an older Miles and Spidey in space. Oh, yeah, here we go. So that's the actual graphic from the hardcover, but it looks like they reversed it. Doc Ock. And I remember them printing the trade paperback before the annual even came out. The annual, what was this? So yeah, like a J. Jonah Jameson story and him aging with the times too and like the world changing around him and going digital and, you know, he's a newspaper guy. So that was a fun annual. And then we get into the last miniseries here, Spider's Shadow. This one I was reading as it was coming out in single issues. I'm a sucker for what ifs. And you guys know Marvel what ifs are always like, what if the worst thing happened? So what if Spider-Man kept this symbiote? 
It's a, a tragic story. He's brutal against his villains. They're all scared to death of him. It's a really great read, man. So a nice, uh, a nice omnibus here. At first, I thought it was just going to be like a life story cash grab. But honestly, Chip Zdarsky is a great writer, one of my favorites of the modern time. And all of this Spider-Man material collected in one omnibus is a must-have. So here we go. Wow, some great variants here. We got the Sam Spratt, Tupac homage, Mike Diodato Jr. here. Got John Cassidy doing an ASM 100 homage. More John Cassidy. My boy, Joe Jesco. Action figure variants here. More from the Cuberts. An homage to Spectacular Spider-Man 1. Oh, this is dope. Ooh, this art germ. Mary Jane Deadpool variant. Yeah, I always say, man, if you guys are into variants, but you don't want to pay the high cost to track them all down, the Omni's got you covered. Tyler Kirkham doing the symbiote stuff. Gabriel Del Otto with a background, too. Kind of rare that you see him do that. Adam Hughes Gwen. Scotty Young. Liefeld Venom and Spidey. So, yeah, look at these. All these variants. Scotty Young again. Oh, yeah, this was dope, too. I want to say this was... Uh, I guess it was in the back of the annual, right? All of the covers for Spectacular Spider-Man. I always like when they do this. And then we get more stuff. Some inked pages and covers. The rough sketches for the life story covers. And then we get an afterword by Chip Zdarsky himself and Kathleen Wisenski. You guys want to meet legendary artists Jim Lee and David Mack, plus John Dalmayan, the founder of Torpedo Comics and drummer for System of a Down? Well, this month will be your chance. Saturday, November 18th, JPG and Steve Shewitt are celebrating their one-year anniversary of Ninja Funk and having this private signing. It is free to enter, but if you want to get anything signed, you can purchase tickets right now at Eventbrite. There's going to be CGC witnesses, and you can leave your books to get submitted there as well. If you guys are in the area, go to the Ninja Exchange. It's in Carlsbad, California. More details at Eventbrite to check out the event. Yeah, if you're a Spider-Man collector, this is a must-have. Chip Zdarsky doing three different sagas, The Spectacular Spider-Man, The Life Story, and The Spider's Shadow. Let me know what you think about this omnibus in the comments down below. Are you going to add it to your collection? Thanks for watching, y'all. Stay minty fresh. Peace.